goes Bruce down. Bruce, Roberta. Bruce. Welcome to Schizophrenic Fighting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Schizo Fighting, we've got Bruce Baum. <laughs> and Bruce Baum. Cheap way to save money. We cut them off. Okay. All right, what'd you do? Well, hey, Roberta from New York. You got $80. Enough for three gallons of gas. It's fantastic. <laughs> Let's hear from Roberta some more. And that's a, that big one, new one, big one? Well, it's, it's, I'm trying to get it big. I know he's trying to get big. And you, are you, now, one other thing, you're going to go on a West Coast tour, doing yes, some concerts? Yes, we're in the middle of one now. Wait, yeah. wait, now, tell me some cities you're playing in. Where are you going to uh, play, Ryan? We've been in San Diego and L.A. so far. We're down in Huntington Beach right uh -huh. now. How's it going? Good? Yeah, real well, good. Well, you're a terrific, terrific singer, and we love having you on the show. Now, you're not... How are you? Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Flores. Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Sit down. Hi. Hey, just got a super prize just for sitting down, and Johnny Gilbert's going to tell you what you can win. Let me laugh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Elvis, now don't hold it there, Elvis. Okay, throw it away. Elvis, I went to the novelty shop. I, I was scouring the novelty shop for stuff like that. It doesn't do anything to you, huh? They had, I, got, I was going to bring the plastic dog poo poo, and uh, I didn't think you'd go for that. You ought to have a few I thought of, Elvin. Plastic flattened cats. You put them in the driveway. Oh, honey, you've hit the cat. Oh, boy, plastic flattened Joe Garagiola. You put, honey, you've hit Joe Garagiola. Oh, my God. What? Nice of you. Uh, are you loaded, Elvin? Uh, you know how you can tell if you're loaded, Elvin? If you're listening to the radio and you find yourself dancing to the hockey game. You're gone, Elvin. 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 Bruce Baum just gave me a bath backstage, Elvin. <laughs> nice of you to dress for the show. Is that a, a aluminum uh, pop, 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 pop top? Okay, Elvin. Uh... <laughs> okay, we're just going to go. Here comes Roger, 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 Elvin. Hello, Elvin, I'm Johnny Cash. How are you, big fella? You probably know my nephew by Johnny Paycheck. <laughs> Want to make you feel at home, hog heaven, huh? Okay, right now, um, here is one of your favorite singers. We found out the bird-like quality of Miss Minnie Ripperton. show. Let's go out and give some suckers away. Come on, fellas, let's go! Got your chick with you? Yep. Come on, stand up. Uh-oh. We'll see both of you. That's okay. You came together. You might as well... What's your name? Dane Green. Dane, what's your name? Helene Brooks. How do you... Helene Brooks. Helene and Dane. Well, watch me, Roger and Roger. Helene and Dane. Hey! Roger and Roger. That's fair. Hey! Two against two. Uh, which one of you is a lady and which one's Dave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we're having a big time. All right. There you go. Hey, give it to you, girl. Oh, okay, good. There you go. Hey, there. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time. I'll make me laugh. Hey, you went to almost three minutes. You got yourself $148. We appreciate you laughing, because that's the name of the game. Jane Bottle me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Is there a coffee made with those incredible-tasting beans you find in gourmet coffee stores? Oh, yes. 
The costliest, most flavorful coffee beans found in gourmet coffee stores, Arabica beans, are the very same beans used to make Taster's Choice a superior coffee. Only Taster's Choice uses this gourmet blend, Arabica Supreme. The more you know about coffee, the more you'll know why the choice for taste is Taster's Choice. Your makeover dream come true for only $22.50. Here's how it works. Send us a clear head and shoulders color snapshot. Indicate age, height, weight, hair and eye color, and specific beauty problems. Our team will do your personal analysis. Do it now. Send your photo and your check or money order for $22.52. Makeover Magic. P.O. Box 5001, FDR Station, New York, New York, 10150. Anne McKenzie, Interior Decorator, for Endust. I love good furniture, but to take care of it, I don't recommend using spray wax too often because wax can build up. Use it occasionally for a wax shine. For regular cleaning, use Endust, original or lemon Endust with its fresh scent. It cleans without smeary wax buildup because there's no wax in it. Endust leaves a clean shine and a fresh scent. Use spray wax for occasional waxing. Use Endust for day-to-day -day cleaning. a meal with no preservatives. That's Chef Boyardee and it's hot stuff. Gotta have the good stuff. Hot stuff for Chef Boyardee. I want hot stuff. <laughs> Isn't this scary? I'll tell you something. Anyway, a funny thing. Hey, listen. Bruce. Yeah, Bob. Where could we see you live if we wanted to see you? Well, there's the Punchline in San Francisco, the Comedy Castle in Detroit, yeah. the Comedy Store in La Jolla and here in town. Keep there's the Comedy that. and Magic Club in Hermosa Beach, the really? Pasadena Ice House. No kidding. That's it? What yeah. are you going to do next week? <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, dude. And, of course, an article That's in Whips and Chains Day. Right. We'll be right back. Let me go over here, all right? Some days, I don't know what I'm doing when I wake up. All right. I am looking for Betty Saxton. Betty, where are you? <laughs> Betty, how are you? Hello, Betty, how are you? Welcome to Make Me Laugh. Where are you from, Betty? Burbank. Burbank, California, home of the brave. What do you do for a living? I'm a cashier. A cashier? Okay, you look like a very happy person. <laughs> You gonna last or what? No. Not gonna make it, huh? Well, let's see how you're gonna do it. I'm gonna turn you around and get a dollar a second. I'm gonna say, uh, Roger and Roger. Betty Saxton says, make me laugh. Go get it. Bye, Betty. Bye, Betty. Bye, Betty. Bye, Betty. Because of popular demand, I want to do my impression of Richard Dawson once again. Oh, come back here. <laughs> no, no, really. Do you ever wonder what people were like when they were born? Huh? Personalities? Yeah, like, you know, like, per perhaps like Peter Falk. Good one. <laughs> Excuse me. Jeez, I hate the body, you doctor. I left my pencil. Can I go back? I won't, I won't disturb anything. <laughs> I hate the pencil. I'm hungry, you aren't I? That's just it. All right. You probably are. Oh, you certainly are. I'm sorry. You did it. I'm sorry. Oh, what are you sorry about? It's the name of the game. Oh, hey, Betty. Hey, hey, listen. <laughs> Betty. Fellas, you're responsible for her getting $26. Oh. No, sit down. Betty, we all have some nice prizes for you backstage you. besides the 26 bucks. Thanks for being on Make Me Laugh. Betty Saxon. <laughs> Gilbert's going to tell you how to do it. You can become a contestant on Make Me Laugh just by being discovered in our audience. Write to us at 5800 Sunset Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90028. Let us know when you'll be in the Los Angeles area. You may be picked as a contestant. Now let's go back and pick up Bobby Mann. Bobby Mann! All right, ready to go on. I'm looking for Bonnie McCulley. Where are you, Bonnie? Sit down, Bonnie. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. You look very nice. Thank you. We have such a nice... They always come dress so nicely to our show now. Hi, Bonnie. You're very pretty. Your eyes match your dress. Same green. Where are you from? Newport Beach. Newport Beach. Okay. 
bad. What do you do for a living, Bob? I'm a hostess in a club. Hostess in a club? Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, you ready to have some fun on the sure. show? Dollar a second if you don't laugh. I'm gonna turn you around. The only rule is gonna say, Jar Gary Shandling, Bonnie McCauley says, make me laugh. Go! I got an idea for a, a new movie, and you tell me what you think of it. A plane load of mothers come to visit their sons. It's called Attack of the Mothers. They came without warning. No place to run, no place to hide, but plenty to eat. <laughs> right, so Again with the mother jokes? <laughs> Don't buy it. I'll show you what's funny. This is funny, Mom. You would just... do this. This is funny. <laughs> Got his arm like this. <laughs> Could you bring out my shirt, please? <laughs> and uh, the guy says, gee, what happened to your arm there? It looks like you got hurt in a, you know, in an accident. He says, geez, I lost my watermelon. <laughs> here comes Roger Roger. Roger, Bonnie McCulley. I like to get my hands on money, you know? <laughs> Where are you from? What do you do? Great. Okay, what do you want to say? You're from Newport? Hey, you, you a rock and roll fan? You remember Shirley Ellis? Who? Shirley Ellis. You don't remember the name game. Let's do Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bo Bonnie, Banana, Fana, Bo Bonnie, Pee, Pa, Mo, Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. I like that. Do us, do us. Let's do Roger. Come on. Roger, Roger, Bo Roger, Banana, Fana, Bo Roger, Pee, Pa, Mo, Roger. Roger. We got the idea. Okay, let's do Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Bo Buck, Banana, Fana, Bo. <laughs> wake up in the morning and wash your hair. <laughs> no trip. Bam, big shot. Great. Now he doesn't know what to do with the rest of the problem. All right, buddy. That is the silliest thing I've ever seen. All right, buddy, you laugh. We love you from the outgrade, aren't they? You just got yourself 134 big ones that make me laugh. We love you for laughing. Bonnie McCulley. We'll be playing for a lucky member of the studio audience. And today, that is Frankie Avalon. And we'll be right back. Midnight, the album with the hits featuring Jack Wagner, Dennis DeYoung, Tina Turner, Jermaine Jackson, and more. Midnight, the lighter side of today's rock. Great music. Crazed, metal at its best with Scorpions, Helix, Quiet Riot. Crazed has the hits. Dance to High Energy, The Pointer Sisters, Elton John, Rod Stewart. High Energy, Crazed Midnight, Great Values, and Hits is Hits from JCI in stores now. Your best shot for action and intrigue this week is USA's Crime Busters. First, a feisty female detective teams up with Shannon on a case of rape. Next, a veteran cop shoots to kill, but is it self-defense or murder? Toma. And a Mideast peacemaker's marked for death. Can Griff protect him? Find out on USA's Crime Busters. It all starts at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific on USA Tomorrow. It's Adam's Division Intensity. White hot fire on ice when Quebec meets Montreal. Last year, they met in the division finals. And as the second season rapidly approaches, they find themselves locked in a battle for the top spot. It's down to the wire in this division on fire. The NHL on USA. Some like it hot. The Nordiques and the Canadians, live from the Forum at 7.30 Eastern on USA Thursday. 
It's the late show you've been waiting for as Night Flight opens its vault with the wildest array of feature-length music and cult films on TV. Look at them. They'll be rocked and roll. They'll all shake and dance. It's pure funk. I fought the law, the law won. American New Wave. It's music classics and the wonderfully wicked works of Warhol. It's movies, the likes of which television has never seen until Night Flight. At 1 a.m. Eastern Friday and 11 p.m. Eastern Saturday. Some of our contestants have received the following. A complete line of suntan products for every skin under the sun. Tan, don't burn with copper tone. And Thompson's waterproofing seal stain. Regardless of weather, get both deep penetrating color and surface protection for wood, concrete, and masonry with new Thompson's waterproofing seal stain. Also, great fitting Lee Rider jeans for the entire family in denim and corduroy. Straight legs, boot cuts, and flares that look and feel terrific because Lee fits America. It's time to play Make Me Laugh, and here again is Bobby Vance. Okay, ready now for a celebrity contestant. He's a lucky member of our studio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, I can say nothing but, Frankie Avalon! Yeah. Frankie's a pleasure to have you on Thank the show. Nice to be here. I'm a fan of the show. I, I know you are. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I ran into Frankie at a restaurant a few weeks ago, and he said, my kid, how many kids you have? I have eight. Eight kids. They love the show. Eight kids. No other hobbies beside that, huh? <laughs> he said, they watch the show without fail. I said, why don't you come on? He said, I'd love to hear you. I'm delighted to have you here. Really, I think that's great. I can't wait. You're a man of your word. Before we start the game, I want to mention a couple of things. The album Grease, which you did, is yeah. re-released just now, right? Really, and oh, the film and, and the film, the film too, of yeah. course, right? Uh -huh. And uh, you got to tell me you're going to a concert to us where? Somewhere? In, well, an uh, island somewhere. Well, yeah, tell me Bermuda, about that. Bermuda. I go there every year. It's yes. been the last five years, and I'll be there uh, July 8th through August 18th for six weeks. Yeah, that's not and hard it's to beautiful. take. Uh, no, it's okay. beautiful. It really Good luck. Is. You know how we Thank play you. the game, Frank? Yes, I do. Everybody in the audience filled out cards. Reach right in here, grab a name. We're going to play for somebody. Okay. okay. All right. Fantastic. Let's see what we got, Frankie. Rip Noel! Where are you, Rip? Rip Noel! There he is! Okay, we got him. Great. Rip, how are you? Sit down, relax. Where are you from, Rip? Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. Fantastic. Hey, are you just got a prize for sitting down, Rip? And Johnny Gill is going to tell you what you win right now. Johnny? Well, just for playing Make Me Laugh with us, the lucky member of our studio audience will receive Flexilum Decor Blinds. So lean, clean, and easy. The window covering that gives you all the functional benefits yet looks so attractive. Flexilum Decor Blinds in over 60 fashions. If our celebrity should last longer than one minute, we will add Grundig Auto Sound, AM, FM stereo with auto reverse cassette tape and GR electronic speaker system. Automatic eject when switched off from Grundig Auto Sound. If our celebrity should last more than two minutes, we will also add Puzzle's Thomas Jefferson collection of lamps, weathered bronze fixtures with hand-blown opal glass and authentic colonial design in the rich tradition of American craftsmen furnished by Quazelle Lighting. And if that isn't enough, if our celebrity should last the entire three minutes, we will also add Leonard Silver's hostess package in heavy silver plate, featuring a coffee service, punch bowl set, champagne cooler, and large serving tray with matching chip and dip tray, furnished by the Leonard Silver Manufacturing Company. They could all be yours. Let's go back to Bobby and find out. All right, you all set to go, Frankie? I'm all set. The only rules are you got to turn around, look him straight in the eye, and go say, Gary Shandling, Frankie Avalon says, make me laugh. Go there. Hey. Come on. 
instead of net shambling. Sorry, all right? Here we go with Bruce Baum. Bruce, thank you. Hey, boys! A little louder. <laughs> You know, the beach really makes me excited. <laughs> and when I listen to you play the uh, trumpet, right, trumpet? <laughs> I get this. No, we really, today we've got somebody from your past with us. Uh, it's your cousin Herman. Herman? Herman, you here? Herman? <laughs> hey, Frankie, you see Vinny and Michael? <laughs> oh, it's not an thing for us. Huh? Oh, one thing we understand that you have in common with Elvin Bishop, you both, your favorite singer in the world, Miss Minnie Ripperton. This is fantastic for Rip. Rip, find out what you want. Johnny. Rip Noel, you've won the window blinds, the AM, FM, auto stereo, the Quasel lamps, and the Silverbait collection. They're all yours. They're all yours. Rip Noel. <laughs> hey, Frankie, I want to thank you very much. Thank you very Make much, me laugh. Frankie Avalon. <laughs> it's the go. Juicy. What more can I say? She's a really good friend of mine. Known her a long time. She's a super entertainer. Got a terrific sense of humor. You see her on television all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, J.P. Morgan. <laughs> Hey, J.P. Yes, how are you, Bob? You look terrific. Thank you. Feel I'm, good? Uh, you're feeling good. You're Allie, terrific. brought to you by the small towns of... A lot of nightclubs, too? Mm, some, uh-huh. Some, mostly Can't hang around long enough. I know, you know? yeah, you and I should know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, listen, you know how we play the game, don't yeah, you, Yeah, I do. Okay. He walks into the face, he laughs. Good luck. Oh, how are you? Fine, how are you? Well, you know, your image I watch on television is a very sexually liberated lady. I know it's just for television. You're not that way at all. There is a call from the Rams, they said. <laughs> Interesting hobbies you have. Sitting naked in Rice Krispies, letting it go snap, crackle, and pop. And pop. <laughs> I like it. Uh, quick impression of Johnny Mathis. We're going to give her another chance. All right. Hey, Tom, give me another chance. <laughs> all right, Mike. All right, Mike. Find the JP Morgan. Good luck. Hi, JP. How are you? Good. Can I call you Jape for short? Sure. <laughs> you know what I heard just before we get started? I, I, there's a rumor going around at the Gong Show that you had a fling with the unknown comic, <laughs> and that he made you wear a bag. Is that? Is that so <laughs> anyway, I hear. 
Okay, what happened? I said it was a lamp, okay? It was a lamp. Well, I don't who will no, who else who else is in there? <laughs> All right, they say one more time. Get out of here, Mike. All right, yeah, get out of here. Roger, Roger, JP. You cost us a lot of problems, JP. Hi, JP. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Hey, 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 okay. Oh. Look at me. <laughs> If we have anything left. Well, I believe you've won the Skyway luggage, the Western shirts and pants, and the Palm Springs vacation. All right, with Melvin. All right. I love it. Congratulations. JP. This always makes me laugh. <laughs> One of the funniest singers of the business. Jamie Walker, well, thanks for being on Make Me Thank Laugh. You, we'll be right back after this. Rams, Mr. Jack Youngblood! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 Oh, whoo! Just broke the all-time. Sarah, simmer down. You just broke the all-time record. You got out of your seat faster than anybody I've ever seen. Hiya, Susan. Hi. Welcome to Make Me Laugh. Where are you from? Where are you from? Palos Verdes. Palos Verdes. Do you, you work or go student or I'm what? I'm a student at Cal State Long Beach. Cal State Long Beach. Okay. Now you know how we play Make Me Laugh? Uh -huh. You're really cute. You. you are. You know who you look like? You look like Jill Claiber. You do. Don't you think she... Either that or Robert De Niro. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> You're gone. She's laughing already. Hey, listen. No, I'm kidding. Listen. Did you go to high school? What high school did you go to? I went to Rolling Hills. How long ago? Um, a year. Oh, yeah? I went to high school, Seaholm High School in Birmingham, Michigan. Hey, big alma mater. Okay, but... The <laughs> thing is, in high school, I'll tell you, in high school, I was... We moved around a lot in high school. For a while, I was the only Jewish kid in an all-Indian school. <laughs> Boy, did I feel silly at the senior rain dance. <laughs> I'll tell you, I felt dumb. When I was in high school, I was always trouble. My dad was always... Me and him, friction, always friction. When I was in high school, I was in this business math class, and we were studying taxes. And for homework, we had to go through our parents' tax forms. And I found out for the last couple of years, my father had accidentally shorted the government. So I turned him in. <laughs> you got $60? Here comes Roger and Roger. Hi, Susan. Hey, Susan Gerke. Okay. Susan Gerke. I love that name. Well, say the second word, you get a glass of Gerky pickle. <laughs> oh, you know, that'd be an interesting show, too. Mork and Gerk. Yeah. Nanu, nanu. Shabba. Shabba. You got her going. Okay, uh, Susan, here's a commercial. One of our favorite commercials, starting with a great, great man, Paul Harvey. Hello, Americans. Are you tired of sitting at home? Nothing to do, nowhere to go, and working at a job you no longer enjoy? And making only meager financial rewards? Well, then you need the Billy Carter School of Service Station Operation. <laughs> That's right, you took and learned to tie the technical skills, skills like map selling, credit card stamping, and one you'll like, restroom maintenance. <laughs> yes, and Professor Billy Carter himself will teach you the distinct conversational techniques of the service station operator. Yes, Billy Carter will teach you words like ranch, or air hose, or You know, when I was in high school, my favorite group, rock and roll group, were the Beach Boys. Did you love them? Did you love Surfer Girl? Did that song? Little Surfer. I always wanted a Surfer Girl. Made it tough because I lived in the Midwest. <laughs> Dirt Up was not. It was very difficult. I was in love with Buffy McBride. She was with long, blonde hair, beautiful, built, you know. Took 36 sheep to make a sweater for her. It was just, she was built. <laughs> You're starting to rock a little bit, ain't you? Huh? Oh, you're crossing your legs. We have a problem here, don't we? 
She was a beautiful girl, and I really loved her, but her parents hated me, because I was ethnic. They were Nazis. <laughs> I wanted to make love to her. I used to try to get her drunk. That's dumb. It doesn't work. Very difficult to be romantic with someone who's throwing up. <laughs> it doesn't work, Susan. <laughs> You went the full three. Oh, I'd like to spend the next 30 seconds trying to find out what Mike is. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are you, are you?